Hi lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time round we are going to enlist the help of TikTok filters to do my makeup and therefore yeah, it's going to be a fun video. Probably you've seen the short form uh, like on my shorts video but yes, this is a makeup tutorial and let's see how I made that shorts video, yeah? So I'm going to start off with just, you know, I've applied setting spray because it's not morning, it's like afternoon right now. So, and I really don't want to wash my face before I apply this makeup because of course TikTok filters are not something you want to go out with, you know. So I've just applied... Um, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I applied setting spray just to set everything that had applied in the morning. And then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 9N. This time I'm not mixing it with anything. The shade is usually just a few shades lighter than my neck. But it's fine. It normally works because it's like the same color as my face. Literally the face on my skin. And then I'm going to go in with the... Just to do my eyebrows. I've just like... Uh, gone in with the Rimmel Brow Gel and this time my eyebrows are going to be very very simple because those filters are not simple at all. Anyway, moving on. So I'm just going to enlist the help of this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to brighten my under eyes and my around my mouth and I'm also going to apply it on my forehead. And then the second uh, concealer that I've used on my eyelids that is this Maybelline Superstay uh, Concealer so for the Maybelline Fit Me that was under my eyes, that was the shade number 50, which is cafe. And then for the Maybelline Super Stay, I can't remember what shade that was, but it was a very, very light shade. So that's the thing I'm doing to blend it all out. Passing, patting in with a beauty blender. Remember, I always use the same beauty blender for my foundation and for my concealer. I don't switch it up. So I'll just use that, you know, the front part maybe for foundation and then the back part for concealer. And then I'm just going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer to like duck it, to, to apply my contour shade. What a messy video. What is happening? <laughs> anyway, guys, it's almost Valentine's Day and some people will say Galentine's Day. Do people still say that? <laughs> yeah, that was for people who, who never had dates, eh? Especially when we're in school. So we are going to do the first filter, which is the eyeshadow filter. And that's what it gave me. My first thought when I saw that look was actually it looks more of Halloween. Because black and red, um, especially for eyeshadow, is not the most flattering, you know, eyeshadow that you can come up with. Red somehow doesn't look great as eyeshadow unless it's like a cut crease. But anyway, so I've just done like... Um, a, a black wing using eyeshadow i didn't use a uh, an eyeliner pen because the it's supposed to like blend into the red you know so that's what i just did i did like a black wing and then now i'm patting in the red and then we're gonna try and blend it so that it appears blended like the eyeshadow yeah so that at least we can get that effect so tap 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 the red eyeshadow Make sure that it is all over the eyelid and then we'll try also and apply it below because the filter also showed that the red eyeshadow also went on the lower eyelid. If these are lower eyelid, yeah, but it went also on the lower eyelid. So we've also dragged that red eyeshadow, the lower eyelid, and then I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline Superstay. Is it a Superstay? No. This is the Maybelline Mascara. And I've just put on lashes and pretty much it, that eyeshadow looked something like that. I'd started drawing um, something because the Valentine's filter for blush gave me hearts for blush. So I'm supposed to. So I'm just removing the excess setting powder that I used to set my face. And then I'm going to apply those hearts that you saw as blush. And I'm just using like uh, the Crayola, this I used, I think, the Crayola Lip and Cheek colors for this step. And just drew little hearts all over. Although the color was a bit dull on my skin tone, it doesn't show so much. Yeah, but I ended up, you know, brightening it later on. 
applying another layer just to brighten it up. So those are the hearts. And then now time for the lip filter. And I thought that the lip filter would give me something cool. But as you can see, you can see where this look is going. Again, it gave me red. I didn't doctor it, no nothing. It just gave me red. And as you can see, that was not the most flattering look, guys. I was completely heartbroken. I thought that this Valentine's filter would be it. But I guess the Christmas filters are even better. Even the Easter ones are better. But look, red on red on red. Well, that was just too much red. And I just decided to use, to apply a red lip pencil. And that is the brightest red I have. Um, it's a Maybelline Super Stay Lipstick. This is the shade Short Color, number 325. I've had it for the longest time, but it still works. It's not like expired or anything. And it's also not expired, but it still works. And uh, yeah, I just decided to apply two layers of that Maybelline Super Stay Lipstick. And we have our look. As you can see, it's not giving what it was supposed to give. But anyway, that is what the TikTok filters came up with. So the eyeshadow, the blush, and the lips and yeah make sure that you like comment and subscribe